Hi, I'm Marcine Waterman. I'm a non-executive and the deputy chairman here at Ashford and St. Peter's Trust. I'm here to talk about the Healing Arts Program here at Ashford and St. Peter's Hospital Trust. In 2017, an all-party parliamentary group on health and well-being published a report giving the compelling evidence of how important the arts can play with our health and our well-being. The recommendations in the report included having a non-executive champion for the arts program at every trust. I'm currently the one here at Ashford and St. Peter's. So what does healing arts mean? Well, there's a plethora of evidence that the arts in its widest sense can have a positive impact on patient outcomes and on our staff well-being. But when we talk about the arts, what do we mean? We mean the visual and performing arts, including crafts, dance, film, literature, music, and singing, as well as our building, our gardening, and our outside space. Our program is a nationally funded policy, but it's currently being funded through the Ashford and St. Peter's Charity, as well as other funds and donations from our community. So what's the thinking behind the concept? I don't know if you've ever heard the quote, but the creative impulse is fundamental to the experience of being a human. The arts can keep us well, they can aid our recovery, and they can support us living longer and better lives. There's an expanding body of research to support the case that the arts have a massive contribution to make to the health and well-being. Engagement with the arts can improve humanity, but our value for money and the overall effectiveness of our health systems. So how did we get involved? Well, in 2019, Asford and St. Peter's launched a steering group uh, headed by the chief nurse and myself to engage with this program and decide how we could actually start to implement some of the recommendations and policies. Now, sadly, this work was paused during wave one and wave two of COVID, but I'm pleased and thrilled to say we're now reinvigorating the program and we're ready to launch. So what are the benefits to healing arts? We know from research that the visual arts and the music and theater and improved architecture can provide an outstanding experience and the best possible outcomes for our patients and staff. But the natural and built environments also can have a profound impact on our health and well-being. We need access to daylight and fresh air, good materials, colors, it all aids healing and restoring the integrity between mind, body, and soul. Our patients and staff alike appreciate an environment which is well designed and animated by the arts. So how do we know that this will be a success? Well, I think our patients and our staff and our visitors to our hospital environment will benefit from everything that we're doing. They will have shorter stays in hospital, better outcomes and better overall experience. And for our staff, a positive environment that's calm and inspiring, just what we want. If this totally aligns with our hospital strategy. For people, the art project improves the health and well-being of our staff. Collaborative, working with our community, our local businesses, schools and colleges, and also RHS Wisley, which we're so pleased to have in our local neighborhood, will all help us achieve that collaborative strategic objective. Digital. A lot of the implications of what we're trying to achieve can be done through IT, distraction screens, displaying scenery, iPads for patients, music with handheld devices, modern health, creating the right cost-effective environment for healing and helping us to achieve our constitutional standards. Fabulous stuff. And of course, quality of care, one of our most important strategic objectives. There's so much research into the positive effects the arts program can have on the outcomes for patients through shorter stays, calmer environments, less focus on waiting and pain, but importantly, even brain development in our neonates. It's outstanding research that we can apply here at Ashford and St. Peter's. So what have we already achieved? Well, before COVID, we had music in hospitals singing on our wards. We also had a series of healthcare plays that many staff attended. And we have recatalogued all of our art hanging in both of our hospitals. Now it's time to refresh that art and redisplay. But you might have already noticed two really exciting new pieces hanging in the hospital the Mary Sequel painting and Damien Hurst's Rainbow. So, what are we actually working on in our arts program? 
Firstly, we're collaborating with other trusts so that we can learn what's best practice, what works, and how do we measure success. We're looking to put on a Moments of Care photographic exhibition of our time through COVID. We're putting on interactive art classes for both staff and patients. We've used the power of drama in our training program for staff. We're improving our open spaces and our green spaces for staff through the main entrances and creating staff gardens. We're looking to put in distraction screens in our ED for patients. It's proven to reduce anxiety, create a calm environment, which will improve the quality of care for our patients. In our estates program, when building, we want to be more cognizant of the materials we're using, the colors we're using. All of that improves the environment for patients, staff, and visitors. And when we can, we want to reintroduce the performing arts on our wards, in our spaces, across the trust. It's so important to involve our community and hear the sound of music once again. I hope that you can be as thrilled and engaged in the healing arts program as I am. Great times and great things ahead for this trust. Thank you.